Hey everybody, it's Steve here. Welcome back to Mega Man. This time we're going after Dr. Wily. Uh, we're not actually going to reach him for four more levels. Uh, there's four uh, four areas to Dr. Wily's uh, little fortress. <laughs> you, you just gotta love Dr. Wily as a villain. He uh, as the series progresses, um, you, you just you just come to love to hate him. Uh, he's one of my my favorite. Uh, uh, video game villains. Um, that little eyebrow thing that he does. Uh, get used to seeing that. Maybe you've seen a lot of it as we go through these games. Um, I think I might have finally, on a side note, uh, figured out uh, the problem with uh, the audio on these and why uh, why my voice was so quiet. Um, uh, if it works and I sound louder than I normally do, that's great. Uh, as for the reason why, um, we'll just leave that alone because it's something really stupid. And um, I feel kind of foolish. So uh, if it works, great. We'll see what happens. Um, but no time to talk about that right now. Uh, right now we've got uh, uh, a certain evil scientist to uh, to conquer. Um, uh, obviously, uh, as, as you already saw, you're gonna uh, your best bet to get by those uh, plunger guys, as I call them, uh, is to uh, use the Iceman's weapon to freeze them, and then just you know pound the shit out of them with your, with your arm cannon. Uh, the blocks, obviously, uh, I'm, I'm getting behind already. Uh, the blocks, uh, you're going to use Gutsman's weapon to uh, eliminate those. Use uh, Iceman's weapon to freeze the fire sticks. To use uh, as stairs to climb up into this area. Uh, Gutsman's weapon again to get through this area. Uh, a little bit of trickery with the spikes and uh, and the uh, the exploding birds, uh, I guess they're bullets really, but uh, I don't know, I call them birds. Uh, but they're coming at you from the opposite direction, so that's kind of tricky. Um, here's another area that features those same annoying pl uh, living platforms uh, that were in uh, Iceman stage. And failure, because uh, I was trying to avoid hitting the spikes on the ceiling. Let's just try that again. Um, once again, the magnet beam is uh, the way to go. Um, those platforms are just way too glitchy, and um, there's no real pattern to the way that they move. And uh, the, not only are there the, the spikes on the floor, but also, oh, come on now, but also on the ceiling. I should probably just use the magnet beam here and just be done with it. Yeah, we'll just do that. Uh, interesting note about the magnet beam is the longer that you hold down um, your your fire button, the longer the platform is going to be. So you can get uh, little tiny uh, platforms or really really long ones. This right here is the area why I said earlier, back in the Luckman stage, that you cannot complete this level. You cannot complete the game. I'm sorry, uh, without the magnet beam, and that's why right there, um, that area, there's there's just no other way to do it. We've got to have the magnet beam. So the first of the four areas of Dr. Wily's Fortress, uh, the first enemy is uh, known as the Yellow Devil. It's going to be a, a, a Luckman's weapon that you're going to want to use to uh, to dispose of him. Uh, his parts fly back and forth across the room. Uh, there is a pattern to them. Uh, when he's done uh, um, forming, uh, you are going to shoot him uh, in the eye that appears. That first pass is the hardest because you can't see, unless you know the pattern, you can't see where his uh, pieces are coming from. Once he's in the room with you, you can, uh, there's like a split second or so, you know, where you can see which part is going to be uh, come flying at you. And you can act accordingly. Um, I remember back in, the, back in my prime, or whatever you want to call it, um, I was able to uh, defeat the Yellow Devil without taking a single hit. But, uh, you know, those, yeah, <laughs> but obviously those days are long gone. Uh, his eye appears in different locations on him. So, um, once he's finished forming, you do have to take a, a split second just before you shoot to make sure that you know uh, where his eye is going to be. But you still got to be quick about it because it, it, it doesn't stay up for very long. And bam, it's as simple as that. Yellow Devil taken out. And uh, we got 
um, three more stages left in Dr. Wiley's Fortress. And um, uh, the next part is going to feature uh, something uh, pretty interesting and pretty unique. And um, But we'll talk about that later. Have a good one.